Why are people so fearful in 2021? Well, I gotta tell you, fear is not a concept that is a 2021 related concept with all the crazy stuff going on in the world. Fear is something that is part of human nature. It is a very, very important part of life. And the reason why is we should fear certain things. Fear, you know, touching a hot stove, like do not touch it. Fear a cliff that we should not jump off where there's rocks down below. Fear is a very, very useful thing. But what happens when fear stops you from getting what it is you want in your life. What do you do about it? So let's backtrack a little bit and talk about the history of fear as human beings, why fear is there, how it impacts you, and also how to get past it in your life as simply as possible. So here is the basic understanding of fear and what it really is. Now, I know that you do personal development books and they'd say, you know, fear is false evidence appearing real or forget everything and run. Really cute little acronyms, I like them, they're nice, but that is not what fear is. What fear is, is an emotion. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna call it a misguided emotion. So any time in life you are presented with a situation, I'm gonna go talk to that girl over there, I'm gonna to talk to that guy, I'm gonna go prospect, I'm gonna go jump off the cliff. There's that feeling you have that stops you, like that wall in front of you that's like, I just can't get past it. You know you've experienced that before. You know the wall, you know exactly, like it's invisible, it's there but it's not there. What that wall represents is something very, very powerful. It represents that you're about to experience something you have never experienced before. Now, I want you to think about that for a second. You're about to have a situation that your brain doesn't know what to do. So if you're about to go walk into something you've never experienced before, your brain says, wait a second, wait a second, stop, stop, stop. Da, 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 da. We don't have a pattern or a program for that. So when we don't have a pattern or program, what do we do? <laughs> Got it. Insert fear program. Keeps you where you're at. Now, here's where the crazy thing happens. There's something you want to do, but then you've never done it before, so your brain says, we don't know what to think about that, so we have the fear program. And then you fear, in your current state, the fear program. It isn't the actually doing it that's scary. The scary part is you're about to do something that you have never done before. So fear isn't what you think it is, it's you're about to build what's called a new neural pathway. Now I'm gonna just talk to you about this for a second. There's no such thing as stage fright. But Michael, I've got stage fright. You have stage fright when you're not even on stage. That means you're thinking about something that you possibly could do. I share with my clients all the time. I said, anytime you're about to do something you've never done before, we put a lot of emphasis and a lot of possibility on what could happen. And typically in life, when you have one option or two of what could happen, like, you know, this is what they figured out back in the old days with those scary movies. I grew up with the Friday the 13th, then we, Nightmare on Elm Street, then it was a Saw series, and who knows what's scary these days. I mean, shoot, it could be scary watching Frozen when both parents die at the beginning of the movie. It doesn't really matter. But the point is, fear is part of life. It's part of what we do. It's part of reminding you we're about to do something that we have never done before. So when I work with clients and I share with them all the time, a very, very simple concept, it's not about eliminating fear. It's about learning how to manage how it's working and, and taking the intensity out of the thing may be in your way. So let's take an example. You wanna walk up and prospect, talk to that person that's prospecting dating or it's prospecting like uh, you wanna make a sale and there's someone you wanna walk up to and talk to, let's say, right? If you've never done it before, and you've never had that circumstance before, there's the fear of, what if they say no? There's also the fear if, what if they ask you to continue the conversation, you don't know what to say. There's also the fear of, they may pull a gun and shoot you. Well, the odds of that are happening probably aren't very good. There's also the fear of this, 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 and this. What I teach our clients how to do is, do not walk up to them if you have fear until you have at least seven possible scenarios that could happen. Realistic possible scenarios. I could walk up, they could say hi. Then I'm stuck in a conversation I don't know how to have. And then our brain, the more you decide to realize or create the possibilities of what could occur, the fear starts to dissipate and we start to create something called possibilities. So all fear is, is an area of life with a limited amount of possibilities. And it just so happens the possibility is one you don't want. So when the when the serial killer you know comes at you with a knife, we got one possibility, they got a knife you don't, they kill you, and of course you have fear. But as soon as we can play out additional scenarios, the reason the Navy SEAL is less scared of the, the you know the killer with psycho or the killer, you know, Jason Voorhees coming after you is because they've been in that scenario before. There's less fear when you have had different scenarios. So let's recap this and get you to understand it real quick. Why are people so fearful in 2021? Well, anytime you have a situation where there's a large amount of unknowns and there's a lot of people involved with the unknowns that are going on, you've got a system of unknowns going on in the world and unknown as a whole is a fearful concept. So think about unknown. It's like having a blank book. Now, if I take this book 
and I say, this little stuff that I wrote down right here is a starting point. Oh, okay, well, I got something to start with. But if I give you this and go, go write me something good, your brain is gonna be like, unless you're a writer already, but where do I begin? But if I give you three scenarios, you can write about a frog of your creative person. Maybe you can write about a frog. You can write about something that happened when you were five, 15, 18, or 12, or something last week. You can write about your mom. You can write about somebody. What's amazing is when you give somebody a possibility to tap into what they've done before, it starts to lower the fear. So here's all fear is. Anytime you enter into a situation that you've never been in before. So our job as human beings is to recognize why this happens. This is to avoid things that could be scary. It's a primitive thing that we have. So you walk and hear a sound you've never heard before. You lived in a cave. That sound you hear before is probably something that's going to kill you outside the cave. So it's something we need to mature and get past and realize the majority of things in life are not worth fearing. But the majority of things in life, if we want them, are worth growing into. So the next time you start thinking, I got a fear-based society or everybody's fearful, you got a lot of people that have never been in these situations before. So you take a look at 2020 and 2021 and all the challenging year of what's going on. Compared to what people dealt with, with sons and daughters going away to Vietnam or getting drafted and last year, they're two different things. I'm not getting into politics right now, they're two different things. We have a society that things have been relatively easy for the last 10, 20, 30, 40 years. And because they've been relatively easy for a large amount of people for time, we've gotten a little weaker and we haven't dealt with adversity. So the more adversity you deal with, the more fear you can tolerate, the more fear you can, fear you can tolerate, the easier it is to get what it is you wanna do. And that is how you can overcome the things in your life that are slowing you down. And most important thing is, it ain't fear. All fear is a misguided emotion. There's no such thing as fear. So. There's not fearful people in 2021. There's people that don't know exactly what to do. And as soon as you start drawing out scenarios, you can live out those scenarios in your head and they become more comfortable and you can start doing them. So take that to the bank, do something with it, play with it, watch it again. And if you did not get an opportunity to see the last video, the video where we talked about, you know, why people are negative, make certain to watch that, but put two to two together and you realize they're not as negative as you think they are. It's just the way they're doing what they do. Go out there, work on your communication, go live a life that's above average and get what it is you want. Stop playing and blaming fear and start realizing it's time for you to grow. If you enjoyed this video, click subscribe and even hit the notification button right now so you won't miss out on any future videos. Also, you can follow me on Instagram and Facebook and visit my webpage for tons of valuable information, videos, tools, techniques, and all kinds of stuff to help you take your life and your business to the next level. And always remember, the best is yet to come.